Convicted killer Azila Hadri has made an allegation from death row in Kajang prison, which can only be described as explosive. The order to kill al Tantriya Sharibu came from former Premier Najib Abdul Razak and Abdul Razak Baginda. In an exclusive report published on MalaysiaKini.com, veteran investigative journalist Arnadis Warren wrote that Azila claimed that he was merely following an explicit, quote, shoot to kill order as a member of the elite special action force UTK of the police. This is the first time Azila has admitted to killing the Mongolian national with Cyril Azar Umar. These details were contained in an application filed by Azila, who is seeking the federal court to review its decision in the conviction and death row sentence imposed on him and Cyril, who is also a former UTK personnel in 2015. He is also seeking a retrial in order to provide full evidence on the clandestine operation in open court so that, quote, justice will be served. The court has fixed tomorrow for case management. Azila claimed there was suppression of evidence and material facts during the proceedings at the High Court and Court of Appeal. In most shocking allegations contained in the statutory declaration dated October 17, 2019, cited by Malaysia Kini, Azila claimed that Najib ordered him to, quote, arrest and destroy al Thuya, whom the then Deputy Premier described as a foreign spy and a threat to national security. Azila claimed that he asked Najib what he meant by arrest and destroy, and Najib is said to have responded by saying, quote, shoot to kill, while indicating with a slit the throat gesture. Azila also said when he asked the purpose of destroying the foreign spy with explosive, Najib replied, quote, dispose the foreign spy's body with an explosive device to remove the traces, and the explosives can be obtained from the UTK store or armory. In outlining the course of events in the SD, Azila said he met Najib on October 17, 2006 at the Sri Kenangan residence in Pekan, which is Najib's hometown in Pahang. He alleged that Najib had asked him to kill an international spy, and this was repeated by Razak Baginda at his office in Bangunan Geta Asli, Kuala Lumpur, the following day. Najib has repeatedly maintained that he has never met al Thuya and even swore this in a mosque. Kini TV spoke to Ar Nadiswaran to find out more about the SD. Okay, what, what, he, what he basically, Azila said was basically, uh, he was instructed uh, and he was told that Altatunya is a foreign spy, whole national security uh, secrets and everything else. Mm -hmm. Therefore, she had to be disposed. Um, Azila even suggested uh, that um, she be deported, but insisted no, she had to be disposed kind of thing, disposed. Uh, that's one of those things. The other thing, more importantly, is Najib has uh, sworn in a mosque, I think, he never met al Tantunya. Now, Azira says that he met uh, al Tantunya <coughs> with Najib and Brazak Baginda when he accompanied the Prime Minister to one, on one of his visits to London. He said he accompanied the, or escorted Najib from the hotel um, to a condominium. Uh, uh, where uh, this lady came down and they were all three of them were in the lobby. So it's another claim. Again, I don't know how he's going to substantiate it, but it's a claim though. So where do you see this going? I'm, I'm hoping that there'll be a retrial and maybe we'll know the truth finally. And that is also one of the demands of uh, Azil already. He wants to see it's a retrial. Request, uh, to, you see, one, the, 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 major, the first application <coughs> asking the federal court to review its own decision of affirming the death sentence. Secondly, he's asking for a fresh trial to be held so mm -hmm. that new evidence can be adduced. Okay.